Hello and welcome. Usually when we have a function of x, for instance, f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2, and we are required to find the value of this function at maybe x equal to 1, what we do is to plug 1 into this function wherever we have x. So we have that f of 1 is going to be equal to 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 2. This is 1 plus 3 plus 2, which is equal to 6. So the value of this function at x equal to 1 is 6. Now, there's a second way of doing this, and that is by using the remainder theorem. This theorem says that the value of this function at x equal to 1 is the remainder when this function is divided by x minus 1. Now, let us see if this is true. Using the synthetic division method, we have the coefficient of x squared is 1. The coefficient of x is 3. And the constant term is 2. And of course, we are dividing by x minus 1. So here we have 1. We bring down 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. Of course, here we have x plus 4. So we have that x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 1 plus 6. You can see that 6 is the remainder of this division. And this is the same value that we calculated with the first method. Now, coming to this question, you will see that if we dare to plug in this value of x, into this function, it is going to be a nightmare. So we are going to use the remainder theorem. Now we start with this. We have that x is equal to the square root of 1, 1, 1, minus 1, all over 2. We multiply both sides of this equation by 2. We have that 2x is equal to the square root of 1, 1, 1, minus 1. Now we add 1 to both sides of this equation. We have that 2x plus 1 is equal to the square root of 1, 1, 1. And of course, the next thing we do is to square both sides of this equation. 2x squared is 4x squared plus 2 times 2x is 4x times 1. So this is 4x plus 1 squared is 1. And this is equal to the square of this is, of course, 1, 1, 1. And rearranging this equation, we have 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus 1, 1, 1 is equal to 0. Of course, from here, we have that 4x squared plus 4x minus 1, 1, 0 is equal to 0. Now we can divide through this equation by 2. When we do that, we have 2x squared plus 2x minus 55 is equal to 0. And now to find the value of this function, when x is equal to root 1, 1, 1 minus 1 all over 2, what we have to do is to divide this function by this function and find the remainder. Using our long division method, we have 2x squared plus 2x minus 55. And here we have 2x to the power 5 plus 2x to the power 4 minus 53x cubed minus 57x plus 54. 2x to the power of 5 divided by 2x squared is going to give us x cubed. 2x squared times x cubed is going to give us 2x to the power of 5. 
2x times x cubed is going to give us 2x to the power of 4. And minus 55 times x cubed is going to give us minus 55x cubed. Now, we subtract. Of course, this minus this is going to be 0. This minus this is going to be 0. And minus 53x cubed minus minus 55 x cubed is going to give us 2 x cubed now we go again 2 x cubed divided by 2 x squared is plus x 2 x squared times x is going to give us 2 x cubed 2 x times x is going to give us plus 2x squared and minus 55 times x is going to give us minus 55x. Once more, we subtract. But before we subtract, we bring down, you can see that there is no term in x squared. So this is going to be plus 0. And then we bring down minus 57x. We subtract. This minus this obviously is equal to zero. Zero minus this is going to give us minus 2x squared. And minus 57x minus minus 55x is going to give us minus 2x. Now we go on again. We have minus 2x squared divided by 2x squared. Of course, that is going to be minus 1. 2x squared times minus 1 is minus 2x squared. 2x times minus 1 is minus 2x. And minus 55 times minus 1 is plus 55. Because of space, let me continue here. Now, when we subtract once more, you have minus 2x squared minus minus 2x squared. That is going to be 0. We have minus 2x minus minus 2x. That is also going to be 0. And of course, we bring down plus 54. So now we have 54 minus 55. And of course, that is going to be minus 1. So you can see that the remainder, when this function is divided by this function, is minus 1. So we have that the value of this function at x equal to root 1, 1, 1 minus 1 over 2 is minus 1. And of course, the last part of the calculation is to find minus 1 to the power 2004. Of course, you know that when minus 1 is raised to an even power, it becomes 1. So we have that the value of 2x to the power 5 plus 2x to the power 4 minus 53x cubed minus 57x plus 54 to the power 2004. When x is equal to root 1, 1, 1 minus 1 all over 2 is equal to 1. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.